Our Ohio fairs may be winding down, but our premier agriculture show is just now ramping up. We're going to take you on a tour of the farm show. Farm Science Review on Extension Today. Extension Today is sponsored by the Ohio State University College of Food, Agricultural, and Environmental Sciences. This year is the 60th anniversary of Farm Science Review, and it is a big deal. Jenny and I wanted to share a little more of what it's about, so we asked our good buddy Nick Zachrick, farm manager, to show us around. Hey, Nick. Thanks hey, for having us out here at the Review. Yeah, thanks for coming. Nice Thank to see you. you, Jenny. Thanks for coming to Molly Karen Agricultural Center. If you want to see what's going to happen at Farm Science Review this year, we can take a little wagon ride. Can't wait. Let's hop on Let's the wagon. Let's go. So Farm Science Review, the 60th year, that is a big deal for us, Tim. The very first year we had a little over 100 exhibitors and now we have over 600 exhibits throughout the site. 90 acres versus the very first year was about 20 acres. Going through the site, we have some things that are just unique to Farm Science Review, like our antique museum. So some of those things that have been donated over the years by our donors uh, are really critical pieces of what we are as, a, as an agricultural community and just a society. So some of the things that you'll find in the antique building are really specific to agriculture, but some may be just really specific to how we lived maybe 100 years ago or 150 years ago. All the education from OSU is, is along Friday Avenue for the most part. So there are some things sprinkled around the site for education and, and outreach that we do. The Ask the Experts stage that Tim is familiar with is going to be uh, right there along Friday Avenue along with some displays from our turf grass program. Our alumni will have a, a display to kind of greet people. And then our small farm center has some information about all the kind of niche markets that we have. So as a homeowner, a lot of people may be surprised to come out to Farm Science Review and find things that are really applicable to what they're doing at their homes. So the space that I'm most familiar with at Farm Science Review is the Universal Design Display, and that's a space that a lot of people aren't familiar with. And the basic concept is making space, products, equipment accessible to people regardless of their age or their ability. So the display includes a lot of simple modifications that people can make that aren't extensive, don't cost a lot of money, um, but it can help you live comfortably in your space um, regardless of your age or ability. Nick, stop the shuttle. There's a sign I'm happy to see. Yeah, Tim, I know you're familiar with the Buckeye Dairy Club. That's where we're at now. And when the show is starting, this building will be packed with people. So there's actually displays inside this building that inform people about the dairy industry in Ohio and just the dairy industry in general. And so people are excited to come in early and before the milkshakes even get started getting served, there's a line of people waiting to get their milkshake. So, I think we're the first ones this year. We have 16 awesome food vendors, and half of them are student groups at Ohio State. So in our college, mostly are students that are doing a fundraiser for their activities for the whole rest of the year. Um, and then, you know, some of the groups that we have outside of the college are nonprofits as well. So all of them have to be tied to a nonprofit. While people might be coming from far and wide, the Farm Science Review from all over the country and even the world. We're really supporting that, those local groups, those nonprofits that need those funds. One other cool one that I want to talk about though is Saddle and Sirloin Club. So they have a really nice pork chop sandwich and that meat actually comes from our meat lab in our college right there on campus and comes out here and you know they serve those pork chop sandwiches. That group does an amazing job and so we have some awesome food vendors here at Farm Science Review. Well there's a lot more to see and talk about so let's hop on the shuttle and we'll take our milkshakes with us. So one of the, my other favorite areas, Tim, is as you come in the gates, there's a big area of the agronomic crops team. So some of those displays that they have there are living and growing crops. So some of the things are having to do with cover crops, uh, some forages, and some just general corn and soybean items. So one of the things I'm really excited about is cover crops interceded into corn. So different cover crops have been trialed at different places across the state and seeing which ones can survive in that shady environment so that we can help reduce either you know, some of the erosion concerns we have in conjunction with no-till planting, and it is also just has uh, those cover crops there to scavenge for nutrients and all those different, you know, different reasons we have cover crops in fields. Nick, thank you so much for taking us on a tour and for the milkshakes. Oh, you're welcome. If you want to learn more about Farm Science Review, visit go.osu.edu slash extension today. Extension Today is sponsored by the Ohio State University College of Food, Agricultural, and Environmental Sciences.